experience Taliban has not changed, it will not change and it will come to do what they are good at, killing people, abducting women, selling opium, uh, you know, flesh trade, arms smuggling and, you know, beheading the people who do not agree to them. He can be anybody. So that is the crux of Taliban and with 20 terrorist organizations working with them, they are already, uh, what, I don't know what to call that, conglomerate or what a consortium of the global terrorist jihad. Now, adding to the Chinese angle, it's a very important angle which you bring in. I have been always talking of the emergence of Red Jihad. What is Red Jihad? When these all Islamist terrorists get together, they get a country which is Afghanistan and Chinese send them all the money. See the same thing. Well before Taiwan, Ta Taliban advanced, they said, Xinjiang mein koi problem hai. There is no problem in Xinjiang. There are no atrocities done by China. First possible country to kind of recognize Taliban was China. First country to say, we will give assistance to Taliban is China. So if you see that China's emergence in the whole game is very important. How did five provincial capitals fall in five days? Who gave the intel? Who gave the precise imagery? Who gave the precise weaponry to Taliban? Again, is the Chinese rule. Why did Dostum Khan and uh, Nur Mohammad Khan flee to Tajikistan without firing a bullet? Who paid them the money? They had promised object when they fight with them. Why did most of the Afghans literally surrender? So there was a lot of money which was coming and we know the money cannot come from Pakistan because Pakistan is bankrupt. All the money was coming through China, possibly routed through ISI. So China has deep interest in the Afghanistan and they want to make this as a bargaining chip to the whole world because in Afghanistan with the Taliban in power, you can brew literally, you can really train a full-fledged army, forget the terrorist groups. That is what is the misery, that is what is haunting the whole world. Look at Afghanistan, really. they captured Tandus, right? First thing they did, they abducted any girl who's about 12 years, any young widow. Now, yesterday, what did they do? They, uh, they, uh, they did the same thing in Herat, mazar sharif now in Kabul. Today in the morning, they killed a local journalist. They just killed him. They didn't like him. They just killed him. And again, there were media reports. They are again abducting women and, and you know, young girls for sex slavery, which they call as a forced marriage. And when the international media asked them a question, do you assure that, how do you make this, uh, how do you assure the safety of the woman? They have no answers. Today, just one hour back, they say, Women should not go out of the homes to work. Women should not go out of the homes to work. So killing people, abducting women and, you know, doing this uh, Pakistan and terrorist baiting is already what they're doing. Now, don't you see a similarity here? Niazi says, Osama bin Laden shaheed tha. Now, Taliban go one step ahead. They say ki wo to involved in he was not involved anywhere. Why were you after him? Like China says, there is no ego problem. No Muslims are persecuted in Sinzia. There's no forced labor. PLA soldiers are not betting mm. over women. women. So when all these are blatant lies in geopolitics, where you see a consortium, uh, you know, forming, and China is going to be the most important player in this because the influence and reach of Taliban into the geopolitics and in the global affairs will be determined by Chinese money, Chinese weaponry, and Chinese intel. These are the three things which we need to worry about, and China's intentions are already clear. Forget the minerals and all, because China has this very stupid you know, mentality. There is, uh, Ambassador Vora, there's an uncanny resemblance stabilize the region and they are the best people for them because mm -hmm. at the end of the day talibani only wants three things women money and power if they get all the three they will go for anybody let it be pakistan let it be iran they will even go and fight with relations if it is required for them dying today or tomorrow doesn't make a difference because anyway they are going to get 71 versions so the sooner the better that is that is the mentality they work with let's face it it's an islamic radicalized jihad and these people are fanatics they have nothing more than that. Okay. So they live for the day, they die for the day. Okay, all right. We've run out of time. Thank you, everyone, for being a part of this.